Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor presented by Prophetic Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning Laravel Admin Panel Development Beginner Tutorial and this is our part 4. Inside this video session guys, we will discuss about table schema design as well as we will migrate all the tables that we have created inside the whole application. And also guys, if you are a beginner to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions to get the clear concept about Laravel Admin Panel Development Tutorial. So in our last video session guys we have created all the migration files without table schema design means we have not designed any schema for our any migration files okay and here is our github link guys where actually I have uploaded all the projects that we have done so far so if you go to browser this is our github link okay so in our previous video session what we have done go to database folder inside database just click on migrations inside this folder guys these are the files that we have made so far okay so back to editor now we are going to design our schema what basically schema is schema represents the architecture of table it means that suppose we have a table and in that table if we have suppose five columns then those five columns is known as the whole structure of the table and overall it is the schema of the table okay so if you go to database go to migrations and inside this migrations we have created all these files if I will do something like that so these all are the files okay and also guys we did a mistake in our last video session is that we have created all these migration files right but inside faculty type as we can see that we have created the file with the name of singular as you can see create table faculty type but instead you can use as create table faculty types okay but this name does not matter this name actually matters this is our table name so table name should be always plural let's start to making about the schema of these tables so first of all if we will delete all these two migration files actually laravel default provides called users table and this is called password research table so delete all these migration files now we have a fresh migration files that we have created so far so about the schema design laurel provides a well documentation to get all the details about the migration fields so if i go to browser and here is something like that call laravel.com docs 5.0 slash schema inside this schema builder it provides the will documentation by going through the, this documentation guys actually you can get all the details about the adding of columns to your table structure so right now inside our database right now there is no table okay so we are going to design that so first of all we are going to make our columns for the faculty types so if you go to slide move to the application documentation and now inside this documentation guys as we have discussed by the flow of this as in the faculty types we have to make these columns okay so id type status created at and updated at move to editor so first of all we have to add a type here because by adding these two rows my means increments id and timestamps it will add the column something called id and this is column called created at and finally updated at so we have basically added three columns in our table called TBL faculty types means ID created at updated at only we have to add two columns so just go to editor and let's see that table status contain the integer value so it should be something called table and this is integer and basically integer contains and the, the column name should be status and the default value that we have to provide as a status called true means the one value for that so this is one so finally we have made a column of status which is in teaser type and the default value should be one next we have to enter a column something called name sorry it's type we have actually so let's say that table it should be a string value so let's say string inside this string value we have the type and it should be default value blank so we will need we need to pass called nullable it means that this column contains a null value so finally all we have done with the faculty types table all these column columns we have set so just close this file now next faculties inside this faculties 
we have to make the columns as something called ID, faculty type ID. So I'm going to copy this column name and let's say that table. It should be something in teaser. And this is the column name faculty type ID and it should also be nullable. Okay, so let's say nullable. Next, we have to write the column name, something called name. So copy this and let me pass it as a string. This should be name and name should be something 255 in length and it also contains the null value. Next, we have to pass called email. So let me say that email. It should be of 255 length and also contains the null value. Instead of using a label, just we can pass a method called unique. It means that the email inside this table should be unique for each individual faculty. Okay, so let me go here and I'm going to pass designation. So let's say that instead of a string, it should be text. Okay, and this is designation and it also contains the null value. And here we have to remove the length from it. So next, we have to add the column called phone number. So copy this. It should be something called a string. Here is phone number and just pass 20 characters or let's say 50 characters. It also contains a null value. Next, we have to pass a gender ID. So gender ID basically it will be integer value. So table integer column name is gender ID and it also contains learn null value what we have next so next it's profile photo and this column actually contains the link of the image that we are going to upload inside this application so table it also should be string and here is something called profile photo and link something called 300 and it also contains null value so go to editor and let's say address something it should be text address just remove this length and it also contains the null value and finally we have a status column so scroll down and let's say that table this contain integer value and here we have to pass the column name so something called status default it will contain the value of one so finally we have done about the faculties table so we have added our id laravel default added id and created add and updated add all we have done about these columns so if i save this file close this file next i'm going to open class sections go to slides in class actions we have called ID section and status so it's called here and let me say that table it will contain something called the section name uh, okay section name so it should be something string and let's say that section it will contain something value 10 because it will contain only value a b c d something like that and it also contains let's say that null value Next column we have to write as called a status. So copy this. Let's say that table integer value column name it will default contains the value as one. Save this file. I'm going to close this file now because we have done that. Open up the classes file. Inside classes file we have to add the columns as something. We have all the details here. So let's say that name. So if I copy the column name and let's say that table class name should be something called the string value. So let's say name and it will contain about the 30 length and the default value should be something called null. So it should be nullable. Finally, we have to pass about the class ID. So let's say that table it should be integer value. Here is our column name. And this column also contains the null value. Save this file. Seats available. So let's say that it also contains integer value. Here is the column name. And finally, it also contains, let's say default, we have provided the value of 1. 
okay or let's say zero because every class started with zero seats and also we have to add a status so copy this status and I'm going to pass called status here and default value should be one so save this file close this file open up a student's table inside this student's table we have to add the columns as ID registration number so I scroll here let's say that table it contains the first value called registration number and this number contains the alphanumeric character something called a b c d one two three something like that so it will be categorized inside the string value so let's say registration number length should be something called 20 and default value something called null so again we have to add the columns as something called gender ID copy the column name go to editor and let's say that it will contain the integer value so integer gender ID remove the length it also contains a null value so okay with that go to slides next we have to create with the name so let's say that table a string here is name and it also contains called null value and also let's say that name should be 255 in length next we have to write email so let's say that a string email length should be 255 and also it has a unique index next we have to add something called roll number so copy this column name it will contain the integer value so let's say integer roll number and default let's say that it also contains a null value finally we have also we have the columns as phone number let's say phone number this should be a string value so let's say string which contains the length should be something called 50 and it also contains the null value finally we have address so copy the column name go to editor and let's say that table it should be text and here is the address which contains let's say null value we have next about the profile photo basically this profile photo contains a URL okay so let's say table something called a string here is our profile photo and length should be something 350 it also contains null value what we have next called father's name so just copy the name let's say father's name 255 in length contain a null value and mother's name we have here it also contains null value after mother's name we have called age and status so let's say that table in teaser and something called age it should be something called default value something have at least one year okay and finally we have a status column so let's say that a status which also have a default value of one so finally we have done about the table called TBL students which basically contains all these columns to store all basic informations of students so I'm closing this file open up called genders file so inside these genders we have the column called type and status so let's say that table so here we have the column name class type this type contains the name something like male and the female okay these are the gender types so it have a length of something 20 and default value something called null value and finally we have to add a integer value something which stores the our status okay so status and it also have have a default value of 1 what we have next next table we have called admin so finally we have done about the TBL genders so if I save this file close this file open up TBL admins inside this admins we are going to store our credentials for login so inside this table we have to pass as name so let's say name something 255 in length contains a null value save this file next we have something called email so let's say that email 255 in length and this should be unique index 
next we have called password so it should be a string let's say password this is 2 feet 5 in length and it also contains let's say null value and also we have a status so copy this column name this column has integer value a status remove this length and its default value is something we have one here we have mistake so it should be a ult okay so finally we have done about the tbl admin stable so close this file open up our last migration file something called students relations classes so inside this class we have to add call class id so if i copy that let's say that table it will contain an integer value it should be class id contains null value at first finally we have inside the next called section id so copy that let's say section id and also we have student id so let's say that student id we need to add one more column actually we forgot to make inside this layout design and something we have for the status okay so let's say status which basically contains a default value of one so finally guys we have done all the migration files that we have created we have successfully designed the layouts of these files while making this configuration file guys as we can see that we have not used any keys indexes means inside this table as we know that the class id basically comes from this tbl classes section id basically comes from this tbl classes sections student id comes from this tbl students we have not assigned any key means any foreign key to these columns and also we have not used about the unsigned index with the integer value because I want to make this whole application as simple as to understand for beginners okay so that's why I have not used about the complex concept of adding foreign keys and indexes to our values after saving all these files finally we have to migrate and create these tables what we have done inside this database so how can we migrate that so we have a simple command for that so if I open a new tab we have to command called php artisan and simply we have to write migrate this will migrate all the tables to our created database so go to terminal now inside this terminal i am going to type php artisan and let's say migrate i am pressing enter after pressing enter it will actually migrating all the files as we can see and finally as we can see that guys it it has migrated all the files that we have created something called faculty type faculties sections classes and many more tables up to student classes okay so all we have done about the migration so if you go to database reload this structure inside this structure as we can find all the tables we have done inside the migrations this table contains all the details of our migration files so if I click that as we can see that these are the migration files that we have migrated so it has it will contain all the details of that if I open suppose faculty types go to structure this is the structure that we have designed for these faculty types open up a new table called TBL faculties go to structure this is the structure that we have designed this is a null value that we have assigned called null label okay and this is the unique index that we have assigned for the email it means that it will contain any unique value inside the table for an individual faculty so finally we have completed about the migrations as well as designing the schema of tables so if you have any doubt in this video session guys then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day